Hey guys, it's Trouble Lobster coming at you with another review of one of my customs. And if you watched my previous video, you know why I'm doing customs. Uh, this one I actually have a name for. So, um, it's called the Mobile Artillery Unit, or MAU for short. Or MAU, if you just want to say it in one word. But I say MAU. And, um, I'll show you the main part. Um... As you can see, it's this part out of the way. It rolls really good. It's self-piloted, as you can see, with the controls in, in here. And if you want to take this off, you just push it back and take it on. Or take it off. And you just push it. And then in the back is actually the artillery unit. Uh, it moves up and down, if you want to. Is this? It moves up and down, and then uh, side to side, in case they need artillery from a hill or something. Then right here is a defense turret. Uh, moves doesn't move up and down, but it goes 360. You can see there's a guy in here with his rifle attached to the seat. Um, this side's actually is regular ammunition, in case you're wondering. The gray side's regular ammunition. The red ones are plasma bursts, so it's like a two-on-one cannon. Pretty cool. Moves all the way like that. But uh, you don't actually fire the artillery from this. That's what this is for. It's a hover car that travels by it. Uh, with the control center and how to fire it. A driver. Then uh, right here, let me take this off for you, I guess, so you can see it better. You see that red button is the abort switch if they want to abort the launch. Then he just gets out. And he can walk over to his little control center right here. And what you do is you take uh, the kind of link hose, turn it this way. Then you link it. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm just taking it off because it's easy to move. You want to link it right here, then link it back onto the thing. And let me pick this up so I can give you an actual view here. This is what it looks like. Sorry, you can kind of see my shadow. This is what it looks like. That his little control center. Then you he can uh, if he wants to. Well, you can also use screens first, I guess. This target right there. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Then, uh, it's just a map of the world right there with a bunch of targets. But when he's ready to fire, he flips the switch. And these screens are just a target. Uh, he uses this to choose his target. This is his screen. This is his control panel. Um, he uses this to fire. Then when he's ready, he hits the big green button right there. Not the two on the sides. Those are just, like, other buttons. But this big one right here in the center take this off for you so I can show you the switch I'm talking about that button right here he needs to tap it and then it will fire as soon as he flips the switch again it will fire this is some sequence I came up with before so I'm gonna fire the artillery here and the cannon. And that's how it works. And when you're done, you can just take it off. Swivel it around. And hook it back up to the recharger thing. And that's pretty much it. And then if he wants to abort, he hits the big red button. So that's what happens if he wants to abort. So uh, that's pretty much it for my MAU. Mobile artillery unit or anything. Um, that is pretty much it actually. Another one of my customs. I like it, but then again, like always, if it's your custom, of course you're gonna like it because you're the one who made it. But if you want me to make a tutorial on how to build these, it's actually gonna require quite a few parts, so I may do it separately. Please send me a message or leave a comment or post something on my channel or something, and I'll get back to you with the video. So thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. This has been a Chubble Lobster production. And thanks for watching.